Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to So Many Games Little Time. My name is Joachim and this will be the reboxing video of uh, Dungeonology Roca, Roca Civetta. Um, this is a second wave material. So it has Roca Civetta, it has Rigor Mortis, it has Leonardo's Workshop, uh, it has a bunch of other stuff that I'll uh, be sure to mention once we get to it. Um, but I got it all in the same box, and I'll tell you how I did that. Also, these items here are not in the box because these are crossover for other games, for Black Rose Wars and other stuff as well. So I'll put this to the side, including this little token that goes with this card. Okay, so I'll put this to the side. And then I'll open the box, and I'll show you what's in there and how I did it. So, hop. Take this off. So first of all, you see the three rule books. Now I put it like this. So this is the uh, the edge, and these are the two other edges. Because if you put them all together, this one edge will be a lot higher than this side. So you know, it's workshop, like I said, uh, rigor mortis, and of course the main manual. And then we have uh, the board and the overlay of the main game of the. the What's the name again? <laughs> Roca Civetta. So that's next. And then we have the miniatures. Now the, here, here's the first new thing. So you can see here, there are a bunch of minis here and a bunch of tokens here. Now these are the tokens that are from the main game. Okay. So you have the uh, these ones. You have the star tokens of each color. And then you also have the full token as well. Okay, that's all here. The minis here are from every other box. Okay, so you can see you have the little um, uh, the robot worker here uh, together with the uh, Mona Lisa uh, construct. Okay, that's in here. So they're all together. Um, of course, don't force it. Just leave them on top of there. They're all pretty loose. So I hope that they won't damage each other and so on. It is something you have to do if you want to get it all in the same box, I'm afraid. I decided to keep these here because if you take them out, I don't think you're going to win that much space. It's already pretty tight as it is. So I'll put this back on top. So basically these minis are just all the other expansions, okay, that were not in this box originally. So I'll take this out. Underneath here, we have the, some of the tiles that are not in this box. So what are they? They are these tiles from Regal Mortis. Okay. Then we have the base game tiles, the, 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 the level one tiles. Here we have the level two tiles, the silver ones. Um, here are the level three tiles, the gold ones. And then here, there are the level four tiles but they are from leonardo's workshop if i'm not mistaken yeah so i basically just level four extra level and they are all at the same height um normally like this supposedly yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all at the same height which is one two three four five six tiles okay six 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 all right so they're here on top now for now i'll put them out like this All right, then we have this part, which is pretty stacked, as you can see. This is the card holder. Now, I'll show you how to assemble it. And so sadly, I mean, if you can, if you have space to keep it out the box, keep it out the box. But sadly, I live in Hong Kong, so this is the space that I don't have. So the wings, they go in here. Okay, so you just push them through. There you go, until you reach the end. There you go. And the other one. And actually, I already did it wrong because you have the soft edge and the, the more coarse edge. So this one should go here. So it's on the side. Okay. Of course, if you do it like me, it will have a lot more wear and tear faster, uh, sadly. And this one in the middle. There you go. And there should one be one like this on this side as well. Okay, soft hands, there you go. Soft touch, I mean. 
and then all these three all go in here okay you just push it through and it will fit okay which i'm not going to do now you know how to do it i don't want to cause even more wear and tear it might, i might be it might be that i eventually leave it in there but at this point uh no it's just going to be gathering dust so i'd rather leave it in there okay then um the minis of course are still here here they're just cards so this is actually empty there's still stuff that can be put in there um but you know actually you could take some of the minis and put them here to separate them even more but that's up to you so here are all the player aids here are all the uh, scholars here are leonardo's notes uh, then here are all the bosses or setup cards for the bosses. So that's all there. Okay. And then here you have all the uh, enemy groups. Uh, sorry, not the enemy, the scenarios, as you can see, and the solo cards. So that's where you can put the bridge. Um, because the card holder technically not necessary right but the bridge and everything does have game purposes so here we have some of the tiles so i put the special uh, people tiles in here and then also leonardo's workshop the regular double-sided tiles okay these tiles, tiles just have that on the other side and inside i have the snake pit token because they go alongside along with these constructed ones okay so if you're wondering which one goes on top uh the one with the question marks have this one it does not have a hole here the small one goes with the hole because in the hole you will put the idol like this when you're playing okay so up and then here you have a baggie of all the uh tokens and this, these are the other two parts of the bridge. So, so again, this goes in here. I'll take this out for now. This one goes there. I put these two along the side together with the idol. Put this next to it. And this on top. Then put the tiles back there. Yeah. And then the bridge stuff and then there you go for the bridge itself here we have a bunch of baggies basically this is a bag that has all the different students in it okay obviously uh these will end up in the in the main bag with the other students uh, when you use them these are all the tokens that come with leonardo's workshop uh you can you can see in the in the manual which tokens they are basically the the these passages the the, the numbers with the points on them and the uh, robot helper the blue on the circle that's in there as well this one is like the portals and everything from the regal mortis and then this one are basically all the tiles that are also in the main game uh the original the base game so i think eventually these will just go in that box but for now because i don't have it here it just goes here and if you stack it correctly it should be pretty flat compared to everything else and then finally we have all these cards and all these cards these cards are basically all the small ones okay Zainetto's so bag and then you have these monsters right you have these card bags the research cards okay we have these here the the people you can uh, the stu different kind of st students and everything these are the the bad stuff that can happen to you uh, these are the special kind of students and here you have the dark lord cards so you put all these here and then here you have basically all the regular sized cards um, these ones are all the diff diff different cards that you use the action cards and these are all the potential enemies you're supposed to be uh, investigating plus auto the uh, assistant all right so that goes on top of here so that is basically how I did the reboxing and got everything in one box with some lift, um, sadly. So I'm going to put it all back now. Uh, so we had the wings. So one wing here, one wing there, one wing there. I do suggest that you just 
basically uh, install it. But there will actually be two toolings here. Yeah, I do suggest you just you know, make make it and then uh, don't take it apart anymore because it's quite big as it is. And uh, yeah, but like I said, I live in Hong Kong, not enough space. That's why I'm doing this like this. No plastic baggie. Okay, good. Then make four piles. Spread them out a little bit so that the the the, the weight is not in the center. All right, I have like four supports. And then put this on top. And like I said, some of these minis you can actually put at the bottom there if you want to. Um, I might do that later if I figure out which ones I want to put there. So it's a little bit less crowded here. And also you can say, okay, all the minions of that expansion are down there. That would be handy as well. And then I should put this first. Okay. And I'm definitely not putting this in the original core box because that was already filled to the brim. Yeah. So this game ends up being pretty huge. All right, that's it. Box goes on top. And that is how I was able to put everything in. And I'll show you which boxes eventually all got in here. So this game now, this box now contains the Unruly Students, Triple Threat, Rigor Mortis, and Leonardo's Workshop, and of course also its original content. So, thank you very much for watching this reboxing, and uh, have a lot of fun with the game. If you have any other ideas to do the reboxing or move stuff around, you can always let me know. All right, have a nice day. My name was uh, Joachim, this was So Many Games in a Little Time, and I'll see you next time, all right? Bye.